Welcome to my trading room. This is Alcon Day Trading Cardano, the best elite wave analysis, episode number 21. So today I'm going to take a brief look at Cardano. I'll try to, be, to stay brief, which means I put myself a target of 50 minutes and I try not to exceed it. Um, most of the time I make it, it ends up being 20 minutes, but let's try to do it, uh, doing it quite fast and making it in 15 minutes. So first I will show you my Ichimoku chart and then the Elite Wave labeling, the latest Elite Wave labeling on Cardano. So let's start with uh, my disclaimer so that you are aware that there are risk involved in trading. Here is my disclaimer and underneath my risk warning, the link is in the description. And I will briefly talk about my service. So I offer a live Elliott Wave updates. So you will receive the latest labeling on Elliott Wave on Bitcoin, uh, gold, and US stocks. On gold and US stocks once a day, on Bitcoin it's, it's sometimes more than once a day, one to three times a day. That service will cost you 20 USD a month. And if you're interested, you join my free Telegram group. The link is also in the description. Here you have it, but it's also in the description. You join it and you tell me that you're interested and I provide you the instruction on how to become a member. The means of payments are crypto, then it's cheaper, 20 USD a month, or PayPal, then it's more expensive, 30 USD a month. I also provide one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. So you get, um, there's a limited time offer for my private clients only. Uh, they will receive a discount on my hourly fee and we can talk about investing, trading or anything related to cryptos. So if you need some help, let me know and I'll tell you. Uh, I'll, I'll help you around. And that being said, let's now uh, look at the chart. But first, I have to ask of you kindly to like the video and comment. Liking is extremely important because if you don't like, nobody will find my intervention. And if nobody will find my intervention, then the market tells me that there's no demand for my videos and then I will have to stop doing them. So if you want to receive more free stuff, you have to like. And that's very easy because you can, uh, da you can install the YouTube Creator Endorsement. It's a Chrome extension on the web store. You install that and then you click uh, the button of the extension and you click yes for my channel or and for all the channels you want to endorse. I do that with all the creators that I think have some merits, even if I don't like them and I don't like too much what they say. But if I watch the videos from time to time, I, I at least give them a like. It's the it's the least I can do for the for the for the time and effort. It takes time and effort to do videos. If you don't think so, try making three of them and posting them. You will see that it takes a lot of time and it and it's it's hard work. It, it is not hard work, but it, but it's real work, and you you have to do it. So I have I have made hundreds and hundreds of videos on that channel. Probably I don't I don't I haven't counted, it, but there are a lot of channels. It did take a lot of time and I did put a lot of work and effort in it. And the, uh, the, and the only way of you te, te, uh, showing me that you respect the work I've provided uh, for you for free is to like the, uh, those interventions. You also can leave a video. It's always appreciated. And from time to time, I take a look at it. And now uh, let's, let's talk about Cardano, ADA. So here I have the Ichimoku Cloud. And the Ichimoku cloud was quite hard to trade because on the one hour chart, well, no, it was not that hard to create on the one hour chart. You, I thought you could have gone long here, but you could not because you were below the, below the cloud. So uh, now and the current situation is as following. We are now under the cloud and this one is the breakout candle because I think this one closed in the cloud. So let's say, let's be conservative and say this one is the breakout candle. 
And in that case, you need to see if all the conditions are filled. So the future Kumo is red. Uh, the Chico is free and can move lower. And uh, the Tenken is below the Kijui. So at here, I think it was uh, all the conditions were filled and you could have gotten a shot once you took out the controlled candle. And the, um, the, uh, the, the candle that was uh, from the last nine candle, the lowest candle. Uh, and that was the breakout candle in this case. So once we went below it, you could have gone short and you would be now in a short position. Your stop loss would be above the Kijuin. So above that, and it would, if price drops, it would go lower with price. So the last condition that I have is to know if I should take that trade or not, if I should take that tra short trade or not, is to take a look at Elite Wave. Is Elite Wave bearish? And in that case, I can take it. If Elite Wave is bullish, then I won't take the trade. So, but here you could be in the trade right now, if Elite Wave is confirming it. So now let's take a look at Elite Wave and see what Elite Wave has to tell us. On Elite Wave, we had a double V down here, then an ABC correction for the X wave. And now we are accomplishing wave Y down. And we could be close to a bottom since we have done wave A already uh, and B, and we could be in the process of accomplishing wave C. And wave C already subdivides into a one, two, three, four, and we're still missing one wave down, wave five. Uh, and the, the A wave was a little complicated uh, with its wave four because it was a triangle and it's a little hard to label and to see straight away, but, uh, should, uh, but it probably was a triangle. So that's what I wanted to tell you on on um, its Elite Wave labeling, the latest Elite Wave labeling on Cardano. The thing is, would I be in that short position or not? And actually I would, because I think there's quite some chance that we, we even go lower than uh, here, the Wave 5. It's just my uh, opinion. It's not Elite Wave or... Uh, uh, Chimoku has no opinion on that. Chimoku only tells you to go short. It doesn't tell you how profitable the trade will be. Chimoku has not, uh, no opinion on that. But I have an opinion. And I also take a look at the SP, and the SP is bearish right now. It looks like if we are uh, going down and a lot lower. Uh, so if the, if the market for risk asset is that bearish, and uh, and the s p uh, goes lower, I'm in a short position on the s p then I expect actually, um, then I think there's a chance that Bitcoin, which is also a risk asset, will go lower. So I expect us at least to make the, uh, the wave five, and I also would not be surprised if you even go lower because the s p is very bearish right now. So, um, According to me, according to my opinion, it's just my opinion. It's not a wave. It's, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, Ichimoku, it's just my op opinion. According to my opinion, there's a chance we go low. So I would be in the trade, and I would wait until I have to exit. For the exit, I would do the following. So I would take a look at two more indicators for the exit, because now I would be in the trade. In the short trade, so the exit, I would look uh, firstly at the baseline. So I want that to turn bullish. And right now we are close to turning bullish, but we did not turn bullish, but we are close to doing that. And then the next thing I would probably uh, wait for is the EMA to turn bullish. So to get a green cross, just as we had here. So I would wait for that green cross. And once I get a green cross and the baseline and Fisher are bearish. All my indicators are, uh, uh, I mean, all my indicators from bearish went bullish. Once I get that, Fisher bullish, baseline bullish, and the EMA bullish, I get the cross. 
then I would exit because then there's no more re reason to be in the in the short trade. But now I would let uh, the short trade run until I get the signals to exit. That's how I would play it. Now, that being said, I want to thank you for watching this intervention and I see you soon uh, for one more. I try to do one more this week, if possible. So that's all I wanted to tell you. As always, uh, uh, like, comment, and um, join my free Telegram group. It's free and it gives you a way of communicating with me uh, beyond YouTube. It's the best way of communicating uh, straight with me. So, and if I've get a, and as soon as I have time, I'll answer your question and we can talk about whatever you, you find interesting. So for that, join the free Telegram group. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.